What's going on guys, Pixelated here back at it again with another video. Today we are looking at the Yeezy 500 in the blush colorway and how to style it. I've got a few people asking me how to style this shoe and understandably so. It is a pretty unique looking shoe with its modern dad wear tech aesthetic. Yes, I just made that word up. So I can see why some would have an issue on how to style this thing. It has the upper of a casual dad shoe sneaker from the likes of New Balance or Asics but with the sole of a chunky old school basketball sneaker. It's a real doozy if you think about it. So I'm gonna be giving a few simple pointers on how you can style and what you can wear with these babies starting now. So first and foremost, I'm starting off very simply. I'm wearing my Kith Cargo Bennett 2 pants. If you guys have been watching my videos, I'm sure you're very familiar. These are pretty much my favorite pants, but you don't have to wear this specific pair of pants. I'm mainly just wearing them to show you that you can wear these 500s with any standard tapered pants. As long as the pants have a taper going down and aren't straight leg, you should be okay. A few stacks near the bottom or running along the pant leg is favorable. This style works with any light blue denim or ripped pants you might have as well. Because this shoe is this one tone sand colorway, you have free range on what colors to wear with it. Because sand is so neutral and so easy to pair, I would recommend going with darker colors like black or dark gray. Or in the lighter spectrum, I would recommend something like white or light blue. Regardless, most colors should work with the sand tones of this shoe. Nothing too saturated though, like bold green or bold red would just look a little weird. On to the next one, here I am wearing these really old Kith Mercer pants. Hopefully you can tell that we're getting gradually baggier as we go along. I brought in the old Kith Mercer pants again just to show you that these go well with pants that have a bit of bagginess and openness to them, so long as they're cuffed at the bottom. Because of the sleek but chunky look of these shoes, you can't go with the whole baggy straight leg all the way down look as it wouldn't work too well. That would work with something like the Yeezy 700 Wave Runner since it's more chunky and not as sleek, but with these, it's almost definitely a no-go. With that said, I'm not one to put limitations on anybody, so if you feel like you can pull it off, by all means do you. But in my opinion, you can go baggy as long as there's a cuff underneath. Moving on, onto an even baggier set of pants. Now, I called these the Yeezy Boucle pants or whatever in my previous video. These are pretty much a no-name version of those Yeezy Boucle pants. So if you want a reference to something that these resemble, go look at those and look for something similar because I couldn't tell you where to get these. It's been so long. You could even type up and search harem pants or something along those lines. Once again, showing you how you can go baggy with some sag in your pants as long as there's a cuff at the bottom of the pant leg. The dark brown color goes well with the sand color of this shoe as well. I didn't mention that color earlier, but I think it's actually a really good match. It's pretty much a military palette for both of them. The colors complement each other. You can definitely wear dark brown as a color with these as well. Moving on to something a lot less baggy. I've got the Adidas X white mountaineering tights on with some shorts. If you remember, Kanye used to wear running tights and shorts quite often with the Yeezy 350s. I personally think the look goes better with these shoes, particularly because they look like modernized tech runners. And the whole athleisure aesthetic suits the look of this shoe as well. It is a sleek look with a chunky outsole as I've said before. Once again, this is another look I think wouldn't work with a chunkier shoe like the 700 or the Balenciaga Triple S sneaker, but I think it works really great with the 500. Just because of the fact that the 500 is a really good mix of sleek and chunky at the same time. Moving on, and finally, this shoe is going to be a great summer shoe for me. I imagine I'm going to be wearing these a lot and pretty much destroying them this summer once the weather gets better. For some reason, we had a goddamn ice storm up in the six over here, but I'm going to be wearing these with shorts a lot when the sun comes up. And that's the one thing I love about the dad shoes with the chunky midsoles look that every brand is jumping on because these shoes seem to go really damn well with shorts for whatever reason. I'm wearing a pair of Roots sweat shorts with some high socks, hella Canadian for me, but it doesn't really matter what brand you wear or what style shorts are shorts and you can rock these with any shorts you feel comfortable in for the summer if you took anything from this video please hit that like or subscribe button what do you think did i help a few of you out or am i just a total wreck let me know by hitting that thumbs up or thumbs down and let me know in the comments catch you later pixelated is out